Hello everyone. <laughs> um, so, I literally don't know what to say. I feel like it's been so long since I filmed, but has it? Anyway, so today I just want to kind of show you some results, but not yet because I want to be dramatic. Um, so I used semi-permanent dye for the very first time ever. I've never used it before. I've only used demi-permanent and permanent, but I should have been using semi-permanent dye this whole time because you may know that I like to change my hair a lot and permanent dye is not the move anymore. I'm banned from it. So you might remember me saying that I wanted to use red semi-permanent hair dye in my last video and I changed my mind. I just decided to go a darker brown for now. I Listen, I'll get into it later. So this, so this is the one I got. It's the Clairol Beautiful Collection Semi-Permanent Color in 2N Espresso Bean. <laughs> now, a level 2 is really dark. Like, a level 1 is black, just for reference. And so, I was, like, expecting it to be super dark, which, I don't know, I, I, didn't, real, I didn't want black hair again, but, like, level 2 is basically, like, a brownish black. So, I don't... I don't really know why I did that. I just wanted a change and it's semi-permanent so it only is gonna last a couple weeks. Like it ain't, it ain't, it's low risk. Like I said, I should have been using semi-permanent all along. So I guess I'll just go ahead and show you how it turned out. I didn't like record the process of me doing it because I didn't do it well. <laughs> it's not a tutorial, this is like, oh, this is like literally just to show you how it turned out, what the color looks like, you know what I mean? But what I did was I washed my hair because you're supposed to put it on towel dried hair. So I washed my hair and I like waited a little bit with my hair in a towel. And then I applied it very badly because when your hair is wet, it's harder to apply because, you know, it's harder to separate, you know what I mean? And so I was just like already over it. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm not doing this. But I knew I didn't have to be that thorough because my hair is already like kind of dark. So if I missed a couple spots, I mean... <laughs> And I only use one bottle because, <laughs> funny story, when I finished the first bottle, I had like covered most of my hair. I mean, not most of it because it would definitely take two or three bottles to cover all of my hair. But I had covered the parts that mattered. I did the top layer first, by the way. And I tried to open the second bottle and I couldn't because my gloves were too slippery from the hair dye. And <laughs> I literally just couldn't open it. So I was like, you know what, it's good enough, and I called it a day. So don't do what I do. If you have thick hair, definitely get two bottles if you want to actually do a good job and be thorough. My hair before this was just like a muddy, brassy brown from everything I had done to it, and my roots were lighter because they were growing in and my baby hairs were blonde and I just was so over the way it looked. So I thought semi-permanent dye would be just something to try because it's not long lasting thankfully. And I don't know, I'm kind of glad I did this because now I don't know if I want to go dark again. Like it just, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, I still kind of want to do dark red. I just feel like I need a little bit more color so it doesn't wash me out so much. Is that the right term? I don't know. Don't look at my nails, by the way. They're all... <laughs> um, do I have anything else to say? I really don't know. Yeah, I did order that red semi-permanent dye. Before I ordered this one, it just took longer to get here. So I might try that one next and <laughs> see how it looks because I just think dark red hair is so beautiful, like a burgundy color. Oh my god, so pretty. But let me know if you think I should do that. I mean, nobody's gonna stop me. You know what I mean? Anyway, and I'm also working on my first true crime video. I'm in the process of researching. It is a lot. I picked <laughs> probably not a good one for my first true crime video because there's so much involved way more than I thought and I already have like five pages and I'm like I haven't even gotten to 
the main part yet so <laughs> but I want to provide like lots of details I'm just like not good at summarizing you know what I mean like I want to include every detail but if I do that the video is going to be like five hours long so I'm not going to do that anyway I just wanted to let you know it's coming I don't know when but it is okay here's a better look at my hair can you see it I, I don't know is that good lighting I didn't do anything to it, it's just air dried. It did make my hair like soft and silky though, like it said it would. Also, there's no ammonia, which is really good. So yeah, try it at your own risk. It's low risk, like I said, because it only lasts a couple weeks. <sighs> I should have been using semi-permanent dye my whole life. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, this video is like way all over the place. I'm just like, <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. Clearly, but anyway, thank you for watching and clicking on this video. Um, I hope I could help if you're looking to use this color. I always say I make these videos so that people can know what the color looks like on somebody because a lot of times when I search a color, I can't find a picture of somebody who used it, you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to make the world a better place, you know, help some people out. But anyway, please like and subscribe if you want to, no pressure. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!